for the last 37 years. His gravestone bearing a verse from John chapter 15. It says, no greater love has any man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Mary Olson's family is still too emotional to speak publicly. A joint wrongful death lawsuit now filed against Chris Snyder's estate, demanding millions of dollars. In Montgomery County, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. The Montgomery County Police Department continues to withhold public records connected to this now closed criminal case. ABC 7 will remain on this story. All right, switching gears now. ABC 7 is on Stormwatch. A little perspective on how much snow and ice is blanketing the country tonight in Wisconsin. Wreck after wreck after wreck after you get the idea more <laughs> snow is expected tonight and in fact almost the entire state will be under winter storm warnings for another several inches to a foot of snow yeah. and that, that's an suv with pretty good sized wheelbase uh, you sitting on the side of the road stock the opposite direction Whoopsie. yeah they yeah. got hammered out there they did and they continue you mentioned those warnings they're all over the place in fact take a look at this the system that's in the center of the country is the same one that will continue to work through our area see all that blue through Iowa pushing up into Wisconsin, that is the snowmaker. And every shade that you see here in pink, winter storm warnings. The purple would be winter weather advisories. But these extend for thousands of miles from as far west here as uh, South North Dakota over to Nebraska, all the way to our area and up to the north. And we have our winter weather advisory that is in effect for tonight and into tomorrow morning for Loudoun County, uh, northern parts of Fauquier County, Montgomery County and areas north and back to the west. We also have a Winter storm warning for the basically the panhandle of West Virginia, back over to parts of Garrett, uh, sections of Allegheny County, and that is due to not only an inch of sleet potentially, but the freezing rain possibility the higher you go up. We had that freezing rain explainer uh, just a little while ago, and I'm going to post that on my uh, Facebook page coming up in just a moment. But when we look at the, what's going on now, drying out a little bit around the district, but you go to the north, you don't have to go far, and you see that rain switching over to sleet, switching over to snow. That's a little bit of everything. The blue is where the radar is indicating some snow. The green would be rain. The pink would be the mix uh, or some of that uh, ice, which would be sleet generally in this case. So it's a kind of a messy night, mainly up to the north right now. Temperatures hanging right around the freezing mark. Notice nobody below freezing with the exception of Baltimore right now. And this is about where we're going to stay. This is not a night that we drop down into the teens and everybody's well below freezing. Where you're at now, say Leesburg 32, Gaithersburg 32, that's roughly where you're going to be through most of the night tonight. Radar, Futurecast doing a great job showing where all that is up to the north. That will move out. We'll get a little bit of a lull late tonight through the early part of the overnight hours where it's just more spotty showers. But then another wave kicks in here by early tomorrow morning. I think around the district, it's generally rain. Southern Maryland, areas down the I-95 corridor, I see that pretty easily as rain. Spotsylvania County, for example. But where you see all this pink, that's where sleet, maybe a little freezing rain, and that is where it's raining, but it freezes on contact, but more sleet, which is an ice pellet around the region, especially to the north, where we could see a half an inch to an inch of sleet. You'll look out your window. It might look like a bunch of snow, but it's a little bit different. It's an ice pellet, but that's for the morning hours. We get past about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, and I think it's for the most part, rain for everybody, with the exception of the higher terrain back to the west. And then it rains throughout the day into the nighttime hours to the tune of half an inch to an inch of rain, if not more, uh, in spots. So 32 to 37, rain is likely. Snow, ice in northern uh, Maryland for the district. We're looking at 30s, maybe some low 40s during our day on Tuesday. And then our extended forecast, we're dry on Wednesday and your Valentine's Day with another rainmaker coming in Friday and into Saturday. Robert. All right, Bill, thanks. Coming up, the Caps will cap off a six-game homestand. Why, that may be a good thing. And guess who's back in the NFL? You might not believe it. That's next in sports. The future of car buying is here at Waldorf Toyota. Introducing Toyota Home Express. Buy your next car 100% online and we'll deliver it to you. The modern way to buy your next Toyota at WaldorfToyota.com. Well, cooking in my kitchen before was pretty archaic. So we went to Joe at Cabinet Discounters. He was able to design it and lay it out. So he laid out a very functional kitchen for us. The term discounter to me is just a word, and they really designed a nice kitchen for us, and it actually met our expectations. We've actually gone back twice and had work done. We certainly would, would recommend it to any of our friends. Get a free consultation with an experienced designer. Call 1-800-THE-DREAM or visit CabinetDiscounters.com. This is a commercial about buying cars. That's a car?